A. It's time to watch Elite play some stuff, man. We're gonna watch uh, the Godfather theme song. Well, that, that was Bach. But I am still sick. Day four of being sick. Maybe five. Depends on how you count it. Um, yeah, the dude makes me want to like attack some guitar, but unfortunately I've been mostly bedridden. I've been, I've been basically just laying in bed or uh, I just made a couple of videos for y'all. That's like it. That's all I've done in four days. Um, um, my hair is very dirty. That's why I'm wearing this hat. That's enough about me. Let's see what Aleep's got going on the Godfather theme song. Oh, a cool version of this that you might have heard, not finger style, is I think a Slash from Guns N' Roses playing it. Um, playing it. It's also pretty, pretty cool. That's a really super old version, but uh, anyways. Aleep, bring in the fire. Let's go. Hey, this is the first Aleep video where he's wearing a hat and I'm wearing a hat. We're like hat brothers. He's got octaves on his strings. Does he have the D string and the E string tuned to the same thing? Hold up, y'all said he's got the tuning in the um thing. No. D A D G D. Are those fifths? What? What? It's almost like a 12 string the way he's got those two strings tuned. D to G, D to, wait, D to G is, that's a fourth. Does he write his strings backwards in the way that I, I write them? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, oh, he might be saying high to low. I bet he's saying high to low. They are octaves. I bet it's, I usually when I write my letters, it's from low to high. So D, A, G, D, G, D would be the sixth string to the first. I think he's writing them in reverse. I think I was right before. It's, it's, those are octaves. He's tuned his fourth string and his first string to be Ds. And so he's got this really sick octave sound. You look at these shapes he's playing. Right there, right there, right there, right there. That's all, that's all. Da, 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 da. That little whole thing is all in those pairs of fourth and first strings. He's playing octaves, but he doesn't have to play these weird ass octave shapes because he's uh, changed the tuning.
So let's point out something. If y'all been on the journey or you watched a bunch of his stuff, um, when you the more you see a player play, and the more you pay attention to their playing, the more you can see the decisions they're making by what's missing. Right? We have not seen any fast runs. That's a choice. He could put him in. He knows how to do it. He's choosing not to because it would mess up the the sound of the song. And we haven't seen any of his characteristic like half note bends or even like vibrato. He's keeping it very melancholy and serious. And he and he's decided musically that bending, other than that uh, that cool bend behind the nut on his actual fretting hand, he's not bending. He's not playing any absurd fast runs because he he prefers the integrity of the piece. But the he doesn't want it going fast. That makes sense. It changed the mood of the piece. Now. Hell yeah. I just love, uh, I love how seriously he played that. It's, um, I don't know how true this is. You know, we all believe certain things that maybe are or are not true. Um, but when you play a lot of different styles of music, you know, really peppy stuff, things with kids, uh, things with friends and family, things that are joyous, things that are really sad, um, that I'm kind of of the mindset, and not everyone agrees with this, I'm kind of of the mindset that you have to almost turn the movie on in your head, you have to play a movie in your head that's happy or sad and kind of trigger an emotion inside, and then let that emotion come out into your play while you perform like i'm not the type of person who could be thinking oh what a magical awesome day it is and then be playing a funeral march at the same time like i would not do justice to the funeral march so to me i think ali very much was very serious and intentional in just his being while he was playing that song. And I think, I think, yeah, I think if he was super happy and smiling, I think he could play the song just as well. But I think it's like 10% better, 15% better because there's a heaviness to his presence. Anyways, that's why, that's why you should always find time in your life to watch great people play great music because it's like learning a language. There's, uh, there's no substitute than being immersed in a language. They're just, just, right? That's why kids learn languages so fast. So like, if you want to make great music or recognize whatever it is, but like, there's just no substitute from hearing great players. Like, that's your, if the, the, they are the language of good music. I feel like I wasn't very articulate in the very last part of that, but whatever. Blame it on the put, 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 put putting hat. All right, I will, uh, I will not file my nails because I already did that. I will just say goodbye and, uh, wish that I wasn't sick. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Blah, 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 blah. It's okay if you wear a hat when your hair is dirty. So says me. Bye.